Hello everybody, today I'm at Rutland Water, which, well, take word for it, that's definitely Rutland Water behind me. I was hoping to get my OS map out and then so precisely where I am, but it turns out the OS map I've got, unfortunately, Rutland Water's off the back of it, but so what I need to do is to get the trusted GPS out. If you look there, whether you can see it or not, due to the light, that's where I am. If I zoom out a little bit, out, out, out. Not the best map though, no, but the sort of triangle bit is where I am and the top speed, which is funny if I'm not going and that's how miles I've done so far, so I've got about the same to get back home again. As you can see, it's, it's fantastic weather again. It's, I think they said it's 13 degrees, but I think the time since there's no wind chill and you see the sun down, they reckon it's about 18 or 19, which feels more like it and I've got my arms out and also... <laughs> yeah. I've got my legs out this time, but as well this one, I've done amazingly well, I've done 520 miles, which is pretty damn good because in March last year I did 666 miles, so I don't think I'm going to quite get that far, but there's not that many days of this month left. The only way I'd do that was after. I would have to do like a 100 mile cycle, which considering the longest cycle I've done so far this year is 64. I think it was. I don't quite think I'm get, gonna get to 100 yet in a day. Considering last year I did 100 miles in one day and I waited till September to do that. I'm hoping this year I'll probably get, I'll probably do the first 100 mile, eight, not April, September, September, yeah, April time. Mm -hmm. Because one of my friends has already done 104 miles and my, as you probably know my goal this year is to do at least two 200 mile cycles and hopefully one 125 mile cycle. Which I'm pretty sure I'll do pretty well because last time I did 100 miles I got up, I sort of set off about half 10 or 11 I think it was. So if, it, so if I set off at even 9 and then if I did this midsummer, it wasn't get dark to 9 o'clock. That's like what, nearly 12 hours to do 120 miles? So considering I, I do at least at the moment my average speed is crap, it's about 12.5 thereabouts, but when I get into it and during the summer when it warms up and my average speed will jump, because at the moment my average speed, if you look there, is only 12.2, but the problem is when you go into the water, lots of it, you've got lots of steep corn and bends on it, you've got cattle grids, and a lot of it's sort of grits, if you go too fast and you wipe and you brake, as you probably know if you're on your bike, if you hit, if you do that and you just, you're going to skid off your bike, which Last thing I want to do because it hurts like hell. I know I put, I put a hole in my sorts, but it's really irritating because the cycling gear costs a lot of money and they also don't make it anymore. And it's all funny, the other day when I was doing my Garmin blog, sort of speaking about my GPS, I did think when I got home, I really should have been wearing my Garmin gear to go with it. Anyway, as you can see, that's definitely got the water to move it the way. And sort of, if I hang, I'll just zoom in a little bit. I'm hoping it's pointing in the right way, but it's not. Hopefully you can see it, but in the back you've got a church and basically half of it is underwater. I can't remember the name of it, but it's it's quite a famous thing here at Rutland Water apparently. And also if you live in Britain, if you bought the Country File on Sunday, they were also here. So if you want the iPlayer, I would recommend you have a look at it. Because they will explain a bit more about Rutland Water than I ever could. Anyway, I'm going to just do my normal proven recycling gear a bit. And that is it for this video blog, and I'll speak to you all pretty soon, no doubt. Bye, people!